Okay, so there was something that I discovered when I installed Emu Deck initially onto my Steam Deck. Oh, I had gone into the side panel here. Come on. Better hit. And um, when I went into it, I found this new little, like, decky thing. So when you install Emu Deck and you go with the advanced user options or the expert user options, it installs decky with power tools. And so what Decky is, is a um, plug-in loader for the Steam Deck UI that lets you load different plugins, that lets you, like, mega-tweak things and things like that. So if we go into the storefront icon one here, it'll load up a page, and it's got these different oh, plugins that you can use to tweak and mess with your Steam Deck. So it's got all kinds of things and even plugins for just note taking, which is actually pretty cool. And then it's got some legacy ones for older versions of, oh, Decky. So if we go into the options here, so it updates itself. So you've got a stable version and a pre-release version as channels you can manually install plugins from a url and then you can manage your plugins right here as well so like i said um you can see that i've already done some things with some of the plugins already so like the ones i have installed power tools comes with oh emu deck already and what power tools does is it lets you dial in the performance of the steam deck like really hard um, I hadn't really messed with it. I had basically un uninstalled most of the Emu Deck stuff before, but I still have RetroArch installed on my emulation SD card that I put in, um, which is not currently in right now, but I was not quite aware that this was installed. There are directions for installing Emu Deck, or I mean Decky um, launcher manually on their GitHub repo. So. I never went through that, and it never uninstalled when I removed Emu Deck through the uninstall scripts, which is interesting. So, yeah, that's something. So Power Tools lets you fine-tune the power that you're using, like knock down the number of threads you're going to use, or set limits and things like that, and change charge limits and everything else. The other thing is Deck FAQs. It basically lets you reference like guides and stuff, for your different games straight in the sidebar here. So maybe go ahead and walk through. Let's go with PC. So yeah, it looks like it actually references game FAQs possibly. Let's look for Actually, let's go with that one. That one might have a few more, yes. Well, that's weird. Let's go with that one. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it go scours game FAQs for stuff about your games. So obviously older games are probably going to have a little bit more than like your newer games. So you can reference that there. So let's actually expand that out. So this is actually pretty cool. So you get a full like overlay of your game. And I do have Morrowind installed on here. I just haven't modded it. And then you can go back to your game. So if we go back to there, so that's what that is. And so obviously you can tell what I have loaded up is a CSS launcher. Um, in the legacy section, they do have Mopity control, which means you can install MPD onto your Steam Deck and manage MPD through this front end as well. So we go into our so I've got a couple themes already installed so manage themes you can sort through all kinds of themes 
um, keyboard themes, general UI themes, and things like that. So if we narrow it down to our keyboard, um, you've got your Steam Deck one, Transparent, the Enlightened one, and a couple others. Um, I think this RGB one is prefer like I th looks a bit better than the one that Valve has on the Point Shop. So we can go into View Details and hit Install. And it'll tell us it's installed. And then we can go back. And then we can enable it. And then when we pull up the keyboard, it'll put a Stolfo in the background. Um, I do have the classic Half-Life one, or theme installed, so I just have to Go into my settings. So, or was it? It's down, keyboard. Here we go. Default theme. Then we bring it up and we can see we've got a very enlightened keyboard theme. So if we bring up our sidebar, we can enable the black letters. Then when we bring it up again, we can actually see what's going on on the keyboard. So yeah, it just changes the background. So you do, it looks like you do need the default theme installed. Because if I go and select like Ruby possibly, and then bring it back up, ah, it changes it a little bit. So depending on the theme, it's going to be different. So if we, let's go with digital. Yeah. Night shift. Interesting. Anyway, so we'll pop that back up and turn off that and that. So the other thing is I can turn off the obsidian. It turns it back to a classic one. And we, they actually have a classic theme for the Steam Deck homebrew so sdh um steam deck homebrew i believe is the github organization slash username so we've got a very classic steam ui like this is over a decade old steam ui theme that is in like the classic half-life and everything so if we actually go back and change our Turn that off and turn that on. So, yeah, so Steam relies heavily on CSS for all of its theming on the Steam Deck. We can even go in and change our color to, let's go with green. Ooh, I, li I think I like that a bit better maybe than the other. But yeah, we can change the colors and that's how you can also rice it otherwise too. You can create your own custom CSS and load it in here. You just have to find the documentation on what does what. Okay. And then finally, music control. I don't have any music in here or media players going. So yeah, let's see. Spotify, Cider, Chrome, Firefox, Strawberry. So yeah, if you're if you're installing stuff through the Discover Store and you can control, it'll let you control the oh music from it. Install music. So there's the directions. So yeah. Anyway, that that's kind of probably the most biggest, most serendipitous tool that I've found. That's really cool for the Steam Deck. It kind of like lets you do all kinds of things that sometimes the standard UI doesn't quite let you do. So you can do some like thermal limiting and what have you and clock control. So for the older games, it'll work really well. For some of the newer games, not so much. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And 
you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my my streaming ch- stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.